Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Death Trash, shall we? Well, uh, we need to find the Witch at the Old Trees, and Desolation. Wait, what did I do? Where am I? What have I done? God's name is this. I don't know if I meant to do that. Maybe... I pushed a button on the world map that I've never done before. And I think maybe it just camps out, like, on a random square. Maybe? I don't know. Alright. Yeah, it said desolation. So I pushed triangle, and it just said camp. Like, maybe, maybe that's a picture of a camp, and it's like saying, hey, you know, desolation. Like, that's what you want to do. I really don't. But I'm checking things out. So, at the crossroads, I didn't find anything too magnificent, but I can go to the puke bar. Let's go do it. Let's just reveal the map. Actually, I'm, I'm noticing that now. I'm going to stop on the map. You see how, like, there's a lighter coloring? That means I've uncovered more of the map, like, within this sphere of influence around my character or at least my sphere of sight so if i go over here for example like i'll uncover some more and maybe i'll uncover i don't know the old woods or whatever i'm gonna go over here i don't know i'm gonna go over here Eh, i'm not finding anything great though all right let's go to the puke bar we're here let's get on with the puke it's cool, like, there needs to be a place where we can all gather and celebrate the puke, and this is the right place to do that. I got 40 experience, we made it. Speaking of experience, by golly. Um, let me check myself out. I'm actually very, very close to leveling up. That excites me tremendously. Um, Alright, we got a new location. Now, are these people cool? They look cool. They look like we're going to talk to you. Hi. I wish I were still in Cyber Womb. Everything's bland out here. Hey, stop that. Okay. Does stop that? By that, do you mean interacting with you? I'm sorry. I did say hello. What you got? Trash? Heck yeah. Alright, that's a thing. And let's go up these cool steps. Somebody carve these babies. With TLC. Ooh, look at this. All over the steps. Puke. Just kind of like a Jackson Pollock of different colors of puke. It's great. Hello and welcome to the puke bar. Hello. Best drinks, best meat. What else do you need? Be friendly, not annoying, and watch where you step. And this is important. Don't carry any weapons openly in there. We want it peaceful. Um... All right, will do. I, I'm not going to say one of the more aggressive options there. Good, don't draw your weapon in there. Guys are tense. Yeah, I can imagine if I accidentally do it, uh, they'll kill me. And oh my god. I just noticed the entryway into the, quote, puke bar, if that's what this is. And it's a maw with teeth. Not the most inviting place. Is that where I want to go? Is that what I want to do? I don't know. What's over here? Um, just another look. Oh, you can see the eyes. Okay. All right. So I thought maybe I could, like, climb over here. It doesn't look like it. Looks like here we go. And, wow. We passed through a giant head, and we're in a bar. And Eldred says, welcome to the puke bar. I'm Eldred. What do you need? Booze, meat, something else? Um, any work around here? Something we're in you? Actually, yes. We got a little pest problem. Again. Oh, all right. But since you're asking, want to help us out with that? Sure. Great. You see, flesh maggots oh, have made their nest inside the bar's meat reserves. And to get rid of them, we need something potent. Uh, is that the meat you're serving here? Yes. Like I said, we need something potent against flesh maggots, but we ran out of poison. There's a doctor up in Taurus. He sold us the last batch. Try it over there. Oh, well, I'm good with that town. Um, so this is the puke bar. Anything interesting? 
always. There are travelers stopping by here. Drinks and food are good, obviously. We have a cyber womb room that may or may not be functional, and the bar is old enough that it has some secrets I can't tell you about. Obviously. Correct. Uh, let's see what you're offering. Sure. All right. So what will she... Uh, she's going to sell me booze or meat, right? And virtual combat exercise. Uh, it's a cyber womb module that we could purchase for 273 um, which I don't have the money for, but I could try to sell her stuff. Would you be interested in buying uh, my hammer, for example? Yes, yeah, she would, and she'd buy it reasonably well. Um, I'm going to sell her this big hammer, and I'm going to sell her this spike club. And I'm going to sell her one of these old rifles. And uh, the mask doesn't sell for very much, unfortunately. That is always a seller. Buke. Oh, she buys booze. That's good. I still haven't figured out why I would want booze, so I'm just going to sell it. Like, I don't know why I would want to add, at least at this stage in the game, I'm not sure why I'd want to add to my infection. I think maybe certain builds want to do that, but I certainly don't. I'm going to sell uh, this stack of meat and this like that. And then now we're up to 216. Uh, do I have enough that I could purchase... That sells okay. That sells all right. Um, oh, uh, let's sell the small pistol. It's of no use. Okay, looking good. And then resources. Anything I want to sell? Uh, I mean, like these medical ingredients sell. Some of this stuff sells really well, actually. I could sell enough stuff so I could buy her module, but I think I'd rather just wait. And I'm just going to say close. Excellent. Who are you? Stranger. You can get as drunk as you want. Just keep your weapon down. All right. Let's get the central location and booze. Booze? Booze. 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 Ah, ha, ha, ha. Puh. All right, then. And we got over here, we got some more people, stranger, question mark, man, nard, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo. gulp, wah, 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 gulp, hick, oh, milja, sniff, why have you left? All right, this guy likes milja. Stranger, 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 gun turret, door, it goes down, and... This machine looks interesting. I don't know its purpose, though. Um, Lockpicking difficulty three. Wow. Well, I told you I love lockpicking, right? Oh, there's, like, the face paint. Now, hopefully they don't care if I have my weapon drawn in this area, because I really do. Hmm, all right. We'll... I'm going to make a lockpick. Do it. Might as well make rifle bullets. I can make a bunch of them, actually. Pretty cool. Yeah, let's make as many as we can for now. Sweet. All right, let's try to pick this lock. Let's see how this goes. Wow. That's actually hard. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. My timing. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad. All right. Well, we're going to have to get better at this. By golly. All right. Okay, I got it. Metal trash mechanics. Well, I think I got enough to 
make the lockpicks that I lost and make some bullets. Um, so that's good. Oh, have I already been down here? It's like, how have I been down here? I've been some other place that connects to this? No, that can't be right. It just, it all looks so familiar. This is the cyber womb room that she was talking about, though, right? I think. These must be the flesh maggots Eldred mentioned. Guess I could try getting that poison right. So we got to go talk to the doc about the poison. Sure. Lock picking difficulty three. Oh, cons darn it. I was so close. I was so close. Oh, God. All right. Well, let's try it again. Make a gadget. Make a lock pick. Good. Yes. It only takes me like 50 times. Is this... I hope... Th this is probably their house. Like, I'm breaking into their home. It's art, I guess. It looks like art. Man, this is a really nice place they got. Honestly. Bathroom. Yeah, we're just w stealing from them openly. And we found some metal. Honestly, this is great stuff. It's crafting stuff. Man, difficulty three. It moves so fast on difficulty three. It hurts my soul how fast that is. Oh, Lord. That was like... I think I pushed it at the exact opposite time. You should get some credit for that. Like, if you push it so far off the time... Yes, what do we get? I love how I'm like so pumped up about it and it's always just like crafting. But watch this. Speaking of craft, like I'm not going to be smirch crafting because watch this. I can make some more bullets. Take that. And more lock picks. And that's really it. Like I don't know if I got anything good, but I did get experience, which that's something. All right, that goes over there. Another bathroom area. Some nice sinks. Maybe this is just a bathroom for the puke bar. I think I've done it. I think I did it. I think I explored the whole place. And yes, indeed. All right, cool. Uh, oh, good. My weapon's on my back. I, I was worried for a moment that I... Um, storage. Oh, it's like a, you can put stuff there. That's kind of fun. Oh, I could sell that for cash. Uh, where is this going? Is, oh, this maybe this is the room that they're talking about. This machine is off. Maybe you take the training module in here. It does kind of look like the danger room for the X-Men. Power module. It needs a power module. All right, let's go find one. I'm full of that kind of stuff. Mechanics, good. Great, even. What's this? Um, oh, it's a shop. Okay. You sell recipe for shells. Ooh, energy cells. Now we are talking. Yeah, I got to buy this. What else do you have? You have, uh, oops. You have weapons. Okay. You have resources. And you have, that's it. All right, I want that for sure. So I need to get, learn this. Let's see what it takes to craft energy shells. It takes, oh god, 10 metal? Oh, that's a steep one. Metal is hard for me to get. I'll have you know. I love how, like, there doesn't seem to be any drawback in this game to armor. It, you know, like a lot of games, like, well, you're going to roll slower or you can't use certain abilities or things. This is just, like, straight up, I'm going to help you. Like, I'm going to give you resistance to everything that's enormous, right? This is awesome. I'd love to have the cash to make that, and I'm so sad that I don't. Do you have a really good energy gun? I have that. But I, I feel like your cleaver is better than my sword. It is. It's strictly better. One metal costs 11. Hmm. All right. Well, that's fun.
Let's roll. Mm hmm. Where does this go? Where are we going now? We're going up. Puke bar. Man, this place is huge. Oh, here's this guy again. No, never mind. Just different guy. Different dude from the rock band. Looks like somebody forgot to flush. Yep. And that's what I get for searching toilets. Every time they light up in games, I'm going to search it. I, uh... Upper rooms? Cool. Is this the dude? Hey, here he is. Hey there, Dr. Incompetent. Nice meeting you again. Still waiting on my contacts for selling that machine core, but I figure it's going to happen any day now. I'm sure it is not going to happen any day now. You see what I did? Okay. I'm just going to explore this whole place before I leave. I found a lot of good stuff in these places, actually. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm just looking. Okay. Okay. Well. That didn't go like it was supposed to. Outside. Alright. And let's kind of go over here. Finish this out. Hello. I'm just exploring. Don't mind me. And you're a stranger. Mm-hmm. All right, that is that. That is this entire zone explored. Fine. All right. So I'm going to go back and do what I said before. I mean, I need to go to Taurus to, to talk to the doc about the poison. But that needs to happen. But I also kind of... Well, let's just make a beeline. Let's see how fast we can get there. I'm going to go around this area and just explore, uncover more of the map, see if I can find anything fun. We made it. They're going to be really happy to see us, of course. Okay. Now, let's think. The dock is way up there. So let's go to the uh, west door and find the doctor. Okay, here he is. Hi, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Wait, come back. Do you need anything? Looking for some poison. I'm a doctor. I don't kill people. Usually. Ask somebody else. No, no, no. You misunderstand. I need to get rid of some flesh maggots. Ah, yeah. I got something that could help, but it's an important ingredient of my liver medicine can't share it with you, but if you can bring me some materials, I can mix it up for you. I need some ethanol, a poisonous fungus, and some juice to keep the lab running. Okay, I'll go looking for that. What? How complicated is that? Alright, let's just check it out then. Uh, oh, I have everything. She needs energy cells, booze, and wonder shrooms. Alright, that's too bad. I don't really want to give you all that stuff, but here you go. If you need anything, here's what you asked for. Ah, perfect. Go. Did you just drink the booze? Yep. I thought you needed it as an ingredient. That's why I'm a doctor and you're not. All right, let's start. Finished. Sweet. So I lost a wonder shroom, booze, and energy cells, and I got poison. Thank you. All right, what else? Um, I should probably hurry back to the puke bar before it's overrun by maggots. Yes, you should. All right. And I really don't think there's a way, uh, oops, for me to travel any faster, but there is a way for me to puke. So I'll go out. Let's turn this in. I bet it'll level us up. So I might as well be, like, more experienced. Oh, you can even see the giant, um, maw on the map if you're looking carefully and you know what to look for. You know, a giant death mouth. And all. Alright, let's do this thing. Let's use this thing, central room. And let's talk to the lady. Welcome back. Uh, the maggots are still there, I guess. Yes, they're back in the cellar. Just hurry on with this. Oh, okay, that's right. I gotta go actually 
put the poison on there. It's not like giving it to her is enough. You gotta, you gotta pour it on. All right, fine. Um, it was over here, right? Yeah. Here we go. Spreading it all over the place. Goodbye, maggots. Ooh, it was like an AOE. This meat was infected by flesh maggots, but it's maggot-free now. Yes. That's the best kind. We're all safe. Hello. Welcome back. Um, I'm done with the flesh maggots. Really great. The guests were already beginning to wonder why the meat started to taste differently. Here, take this as a thank you. Boom. We got some gold. We got an achievement. Heightened senses. And we got meat. So, great. Um, I'm going to push this. And I'm going to go over here. Oops. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. I never even noticed this. Um, memory. Oh, I can insert memories. Um, flesh Kraken. Max health plus two. Equip it. Boy, I didn't know I could do that. Um, bleeding head oracle. Uh, I mean, it's not doing anything for me. That's interesting. All right. Uh, how much gold did you give us? It doesn't look like very much. Was it like one piece? All right. Anyway, we are going to boost um, our... Like, cyber tech? No, nah, we can't. All right, let's boost our hardiness then. Help out our hit points. Same as good. And then... We're going to go to skills. And you know that we need to go to large firearms. We still can't use the rocket launcher until we get to five uh, large firearms. So we went up there, but we can go to lockpicking four which we a hundred percent should do and then stats oh right um i gotta apply it and then skills i actually have to apply it how about that sweet all right so we leveled up and here we are and i guess you know we have 68 hit points now i feel good about it welcome back uh let's go all right, so we did it. I'm going to put the rocket launcher into storage then. I'm assuming that this storage is legit. So I'm going to, like, save this for later. I'll even save that for later. I don't know. Okay. Uh, great. Great. All right, cool. Time to go exploring. All right, so we're going to go outside. And we're just going to roll over here. And I could go, like, see what this red circle is all about. But I just assume it's somebody who wants to fight me. I'm going to go over here and just look around. Like, what's down here? Oh, cool, an encounter. This is my first one. All right, let's see how this goes. Hi. Hi. Actually, I don't know if you were even bad. You look like you were, though. What if they weren't? I didn't give them much of a chance. It just was like a red dot, so I thought it was bad. But what if that was like a reasonable person that I just cut down? I don't think I got any experience. I don't think I should have done that. I feel bad. I think I made a mistake. Well, next time I'll wait a second before attacking... That was like a nice person, probably. A key, a key person. Anyway, this is a 12. So this is just like better than what I have. It's slow, but it does like double the damage. So we're going to use it. We're going to try it. Well, actually, let me see one thing before I make a judgment on myself. 12 experience. Eh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That was... Maybe it was premature, but come on. All right, I'm looking around. I'm just 
I'm mapping it out. I'm just checking everything I got. All right, here comes an encounter. Let's see what these people are about. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're just strangers. Oh, don't mind us. We're just taking a break on our pilgrimage to New Delphi. Okay, so they aren't, like, just out and out bad. Like, those people were cool. All right. Well, in the future, I'll be a little bit less quick on the pull out the abilities and kill people technique. It, it, what it was is just like, you know, you get stopped by somebody on the map and they have a red circle and they're a red dot. It, I just, I was like, they've got to be bad. Look at this anomaly. What does this even mean? Anomaly. Oh, they're not cool. Oh boy. All right, and we're gonna switch over to shock. Oops, shock, nope, shock, yep, like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, oops. I'm gonna puke. All right. So you can kill people who are just strangers or whatever, and it looks like you can loot them, but you won't get any experience or any, you know, market experience. But this way, uh, okay, you definitely get experience when you kill baddies. Now, I'm not using any bullets. I'm trying to, like, really avoid that. I don't know. It just seems like it's smarter to... Ooh, there's some bullets. Heck yeah. Save up. All right, I'm gonna... I guess I'll eat. Mm-hmm. And I'll eat again. And I'll throw up. And then I will equip freeze. And I'll check my inventory. It's getting full. Well, we actually have a lot of bullets. So this is this great is what it is. All right, let's go down here. Let's say hello to everybody. Oh, there's a node. Metal. This is great, too. Canned food. Hmm. Not necessarily my favorite, but I... Okay. I'm going to explore all the crannies here. It's an anomaly, after all. There could be something good. A reason why these bad guys were all congregating. Maybe anomaly is just code for bad... Oh, God. Bad news. And encounter is like reasonable news. Or the encounters could also be bad, too. And this just means it's a bigger area. Oh, old rifle. Oh, that person. They tried. Okay. All right. Well, on and on and on. Let's go check up here. I'm not finding these old woods that they have talked about so extensively, and that's okay. Let's kind of go around. What's this? Looks like something. It really does. Oh, it's just like medical ingredients on the map. Well, how about that? I'm going to walk around this mountain and just check it. I mean, this looks like a forest. It could be. That's another anomaly. It appears. Here it is. Question mark. What's this? 
What you got? What's this place? It's the ruins of Orlon. Well, I mean, not what I expected. Oh, these are just outright baddies. One of these guys is like the jumpy, the fast moving baddie. All right, good. And this guy is like the much worse version of that. Okay. Ruins of Vodan. Trash. Delightful. Wow, that guy got blown up. Flamethrower? Inventory full. Yeah, I can't use it anyway, but that's really cool. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I knew my inventory was going to get full, so this is the solution. We're just going to go over into crafting, and we're going to break up one sawed-off shotgun. We'll break up one rifle. Ooh, we actually have a regular rifle instead of an old rifle. That's a strict upgrade. Uh, we'll break the sword. We'll break the sword. Now our inventory is open. Now look at this. Rifle is... Um, magazine size 2, range 11, damage 16, rate of fire 2. But then uh, this old rifle is magazine size 1, right, and less damage. So this means that um, we're going to sell or break the old rifle up. Great. Oh, and by the way, as far as equipment goes, I should probably equip my rifle because I have way more bullets with it and I'm better with it and we got a blip and lucid dreams okay and trash so something something happened here uh, let's see lucid dreams swimming through the dreams surfacing recognizing realizing Put down the tools on the bank and begin carving all for science and ascension. Sure. And a flamethrower I can actually use. So this means that it's high tech. And we could use this if we wanted to. So that's, that's actually pretty tremendous. We'll have to try it out. Alright. Uh, here's some trash. Alright, let's just I'm gonna keep mapping it out. I'm going to do it evenly. Oh, these guys. Are you nasty or are you cool? They ain't cool. Oh my. Not even close. Okay. That was, that was far spicier than it needed to be, in my opinion. Cannot use this while enemies are... Oh, that's right. I can't. Alright, well then, let's get this ready. Oh, God. I didn't see that guy. Oh, Lord. That was such bad playing on my part. Okay. They split up. They split up. Aw. Oh, Alright, he hit me. That happens. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is just go ahead and... Eat that. Okay, we're at full health. And I think before I even pick anything else up, uh, I need to just equip my rifle. Or wait, maybe I find the rifle over here and equip that. Yeah, this is where you find the actual rifle. And then you go here and you're like, sweet, I found a rifle. You equip it. And then from this point, um, yeah, I'm full up. Okay, that's fine. I need to go fight those guys. So let's do that. I'm not going to even waste time picking anything up until I can be sure that I can clean these dudes out of here. So let's do that first. Got that one. Sweet. Alright. And this guy's got an energy weapon. He thinks he's going to use it on me. I don't like his style. That was sweet. So that was like... Um, oh. 
my energy gun is the same as his energy gun, but what I did in that situation, by the way, just that I thought was fun about the combat was I didn't even aim my gun. I just pulled the trigger, like, after I had slashed the guy up a, pr a good amount. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, break these sawed-off shotguns, these old rifles, these swords, so we can pick everything up. Awesome. All right. Now that, you really actually can't have enough of those. I'd love to get some better bullets. I mean, uh, armor. So, some of these guns I don't want to break up, because they do sell very well. Oh, and uh, let me just eat some meat and get some hit points back. Okay. Man, I didn't mean to hit that thing. That's too bad. Shot the guy in the back. All right, he's gone. Thanks for having that. And this was just a regular dude, right? Oh, he must have healed up. Ate some meat or something. Do what you gotta do, I guess. No reload needed. Indeed, there is no reload needed. That's what happens when things go right. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Poison. That's poisonous. Okay. Well, here. Oh, alright. That was me, like, spamming the button, and I didn't really need to. The poison is going to be difficult for me to get through. And by difficult, I mean, I don't, don't know if I can, but maybe I don't need to. Alright, here's a group. Of friends. Oh, okay. Throw up on that guy. A little trash. Zircon is good for crafting my own energy bullets, as I've now learned. All right. Trash and household wares. Who wouldn't want some household wares, right? All right, I think we almost got this mapped out. Looks good. And yeah, that's just a poison, so I'm going to go around it. Okay, you can't get more Zircon from, like, attacking the the crystal clusters good to know as they say all right and let me just make sure I don't... I'm, like, looking at the minimap, making sure I fill it in. I don't want to accidentally just walk into some, like, enemy group and lose all of the progress that I've made. Wonder Shroom turned out to be actually pretty good. Okay, here's some trash. So that is the kind of question that I had. Like, is there, is there anything to this? There's some pylons, you know, that are kind of like coming up out of the ground, some obelisks. But are, is there an entrance to a cave system or, or anything else here? It really doesn't look like it. All right. So the only question I would have is, does the top, the northern exit, does it take me to a new zone within the ruins? Or is it just going to go back out to the world map? 
we'll find out. Yeah. It's just there. All right. Well, cool. Well, you know, we uh, we did a quest at the puke bar. We leveled up. We've been exploring the map. We got some new guns, and we're rocking and rolling. Everyone, I think this is a good place to end the episode. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And I'll check you guys next time. Take care.